From stunning visuals to powerful performances, Dune was truly a cinematic masterpiece, but the sequel could be way better than the 2021 sci-fi. So, what makes the film even more exciting to watch? Well, there will be an epic fight scene featuring Timothy Chalamet and Austin Butler. Imagine Austin and Timothy sharing the screen, and that two in a face-off against each other. Can't get any better than this. Well, Chalamet is ruling the indie cinema scene with his boyish charm and extraordinary acting abilities. The Call Me By Your Name actor is loved by both critics and audiences. Then there's Butler, who was Oscar nominated for his breakout role in Elvis, but now he'll be returning to the big screen in a negative role, fighting Timothy's messiah-type heroic character who has been predicted to bring a great change in the intergalactic feudal society. To see the two highly acclaimed young actors fight each other as hero and villain would be fun to watch. Who doesn't love a classic good guy versus bad guy storyline. But the eventual duel will be even more thrilling now that the Aliens in the Attic star has hinted at a more complex representation of his character. The 31-year-old actor will portray Fide Rautha. He's the nephew of the villainous Baron Harkonnen and typically perceived as a highly immoral antagonist for Paul to defeat. Butler's unique depiction of the character will not just give his conflict with Paul more climactic weight, but also perfectly describes the vibe of Frank Herbert's novel. As as the author aspires to avoid depicting any character, even Paul, as merely black or white from a moral perspective. Because there's always a gray area in between. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely hyped up for the sequel, especially Austin's character. So, should I dig in to find out about our anti-hero? Fade Rautha will be a dark reflection of Paul. Well, that just makes things way more interesting, doesn't it? So first, I'm gonna talk about the hero. Paul is the son of Duke Leto Atreides and Lady Jessica. As you know, he's the central figure in the interstellar power struggle on the desert planet of Arrakis. As the film progresses, Paul undergoes a journey of self-discovery and transformation, becoming a leader to the Fremen people of Arrakis. But things aren't all rainbows and sunshines for him. Enter Fade Rautha. He's a member of House Harkonnen, a rival house to House Atreides, and one of the key antagonists in the story. In the novel and film, Fade Rautha is a skilled fighter and assassin, and he plays an important role in the the political and military conflict over control of the planet Arrakis. But did you know he's just the dark side of Paul Atreides, which gives a whole lot more depth to the antagonist and the protagonist. Both characters are the product of centuries of genetic manipulation by the Bane Gesserit to create the Kwisatz Haderach, the Dune universe's messiah. Many believe Paul is the Kwisatz Haderach. He's supposed to be a one-of-a-kind person produced by the Bane Gesserit. They're a group of women who had impacted the political political powers of the universe for many thousands of years through carefully chosen breeding. So Fade Rautha symbolizes all that Paul could become if he gives in to his darkest urges, especially after the Harkonnens nearly destroyed his family. The conflict between Paul Atreides and Fade Rautha is reflective of Paul's internal world. Rather than one of hero versus villain, he could quickly become a villain worse than Fade if he gives in to his inner feelings in the sequel. So now that everyone knows that Austin's entry would change change the film's dynamics. Let me tell you who else fans will be welcoming in Arrakis. Florence Pugh joins the A-list cast. With a star-studded cast and visionary director Denis Villeneuve at the helm, the 2021 film delivered a faithful adaptation of Herbert's beloved novel that both honored the source material and stood on its own and left viewers captivated with its intricate world building. Now, reports are swirling that we'll get to see some familiar faces in the sequel. The English actress will be starring in Dune Part 2. She'll be the newcomer to join a returning cast including Chalamet, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, and Javier Bardem, among others. So three new major characters are being cast in the project. As you already know who's playing Fade Rautha, let me move on to the other two. Hugh will play Princess Irulan, the Emperor's daughter. And without giving too much away to those of you who haven't read the book yet, her role will spark some debate when the film hits theaters. The film will be Hugh and Chalamet's second collaboration, as they previously appeared in Greta Gerwig's adaptation of Little Women. Earlier, there were many roadblocks to any agreement because the script was still being written. Another difficulty was scheduling. The creators were hoping to begin filming last summer, but Pew was also in conflict with the Madonna biopic. But of course, all that is sorted now. The beautiful boy star doesn't shy away from praising his co-star. She's an incredible actor. She was incredible in Dune. Seriously, incredible. She brought a gravitas to the role, he said. 
amazing. She looked amazing. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to see that movie. Yeah, we we uh, we saw each other two nights ago. Um, she's just incredible. She's incredible in Dune. She's incredible in everything. He obviously also shared some kind words about Zendaya and her expanded role in the second part. She's bringing exactly what she brought to the first one, which was incredible, but in greater abundance, Timothy added. I, I, I didn't really get much time <laughs> to hang out with everybody. I was literally in and out. All sarcastic of people that I, I, I very much admire and have all wanted to work with. And so stepping into it, I was like, okay, you know, we're doing this. This is happening. You know, I got to be on my A game. Because even though I was there for such a, a brief period, I felt such a, a welcomeness and a warmth, I think, like, again, from Denny, from all of you, I, I just felt um, like I was already a part of a family. Fresh off his highly praised performance in the Apple TV Plus original series, Severance, Christopher Walken is joining the Dune franchise. But he's not just going to space. He'll be running the entire show. Curious to know which prominent role the Catch Me If You Can actor will be playing? The 79-year-old will portray Emperor Shaddam IV. Before you wonder who that is, he's the conqueror who transfers the Atreides family to Arrakis. The highly anticipated sequel will possibly dig more into the relationship between the Emperor and House Harkonnen. The veteran performer won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in 1978's The Deer Hunter, and has largely played character roles that are psychologically unstable people, although that generalization doesn't do fairness to Walken's range and complexity of performances. Then there's Sahelia Yacoub, who will be playing Fremen warrior Shashakli, and the list of newcomers doesn't end there. Tim Blake Nelson was also also confirmed in a secret role last month. All that sounds really exciting, and I guess it's safe to put high expectations with the upcoming film. But what exactly will Dune 2 be about? Well, let me tell you. The follow-up will embark on the intriguing journey of Paul. It'll pick up where the first film left off, with Paul and his mother, Lady Jessica, leading the Fremen in their fight against the brutal rule of the Harkonnens and the corrupt empire. As Paul's powers grow, he becomes a more powerful leader, but also more conflicted as he struggles to reconcile his vision for the future, with the bloodshed and sacrifice it will require. The film will delve deeper into the complex world of Arrakis, exploring the political and religious intrigue that drives the story, from the struggle for power and resources to the importance of tradition and the dangers of blind faith. The film tackles very relevant issues, in a way that's both thought-provoking and entertaining. But beyond its intellectual appeal, Part 2 promises to deliver the same thrilling and immersive experience experience that made the first film such a success. With amazing cinematography, gripping action, and a powerful score by none other than Hans Zimmer, the sequel will transport viewers to a world unlike anything they've seen before. It's sure to leave audiences awaiting the next chapter in the saga. The future of Arrakis hangs in the balance, and the fate of its people rests in the hands of Paul Atreides. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.